What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, we are going to be doing the most natural everyday look that you'll ever see me do on my channel. I've actually done something similar to this on my Instagram. And if you're not already following me there, make sure you are doing that. Same name, Minna underscore Adubia. We're doing it here on YouTube and I'm excited to do that with Sephora. So thank you to Sephora for partnering with me on this video through the Sephora squad. Love that for me, love that for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two options for natural finish foundations that are available at Sephora. I'm going to link all the products and the brushes that I use down below and I'll make sure that I call them out because I do know that you want to know what brushes I'm using. Okay, so the two foundations that we have today, the first option we have is the Fenty Beauty East Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Our second option is the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Liquid Foundation. Both of these are gonna give us a natural finish, like I said. I'm gonna swatch the two of them on either side of my cheek and we're gonna see which option we wanna go with today. I've used the skin tint already. I could use my fingers. I don't know if I wanna do that today, but you can go ahead and use your fingers with these products you might find that the product blends out a lot better. It really is up to you, but I'm going to use my Sephora number 70 brush that I love to use. It's already a little bit like, not a little bit, it's already used, okay? But that's because we know her, okay? We know her very well around here. So let's do that. I am gonna prime my face, but not before I do the swatches. So let's just wait. I took a little bit of the skin tint on the back of my hand. It looks a little dark, but that's okay. I do like to go dark, and this is a little red as you can see, but it all comes together. Now I can still see my skin right here, which obviously is further evidence that this is a, from the Sephora site, it's given us lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage. It's a skin tint that leaves the skin looking blurred, smooth, and of course it's got flexible shades. Now I do wanna point out that you may not find your shade online, but don't fret, you can sign up to get alerted when your shade is back in stock. I don't want you to be discouraged if you haven't picked up the eavesdrop blurring skin tint. Make sure you sign up for the alerts. Still click the link below if you do want to take a look at this okay so here's number 22 on this side and you know what although this is giving me light buildable coverage you'll see and if you've been here for a while you already know that I like to put a powder foundation on top of all of this you'll see me do that step and it is going to add another layer of coverage to really even things out so this is the eavesdrop blurring skin tint what do you think so now on this side I'm going to apply the Sephora collection best skin ever liquid foundation and this is the color 59 N and on the site we have the information. This is a natural finish, medium coverage, okay? So we're expecting more coverage from this one than the Fenty one. And it's long wearing. This one does have skincare in it. So it's got hyaluronic acid, it's hydrating, it's got a natural finish, anti-pollution formula, and it hydrates skin for up to 12 hours and it's infused, like I said, with skincare. Love that. I always like to apply my product on the back of my hand before applying on my face. Now with my Sephora collection number 70 brush, I'm just wiping it off on the towel, paper towel in front of me. You know, I always do that when I get ready to clean that a little bit and then take some of this. Okay, I'm going to apply this one a little more lightly since it does give us medium coverage. And I always like to apply my foundation toward the middle part of my face before blending outward so that there isn't a lot of product on the outer part of the face, especially since this is a medium coverage foundation anyway. No need to take this to the hairline. Now, you'll see that this color is a lot lighter than this one. This one is seemingly more cool toned than this one is although it is an N, so N is neutral, but you can see, right? Like this shade looks more yellow than this one does. I'm gonna go with the Fenty one, but they both look really beautiful. Obviously applying this with a light hand works. Although this is a natural look type video, I do wanna point out that although these shades are a little bit different, I could make both of these work. And if you've been around for some time and see my videos, you've seen me do that. But let's go with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint because it just looks that good. I'm not gonna really wipe this off too much, Let's just tap. Okay, so I already had the foundation on this cheek. Obviously did not prime that cheek, but because this is a very natural finish look, I can imagine that you might not prime your face. If you do, feel free to do that. Now, because this foundation gives a light to medium coverage, be careful with the kind of primer that you use. I wouldn't advise using something that is overly drying. You may find that it might not work as best with this foundation, but just keep that in mind. Let me put some more this in the back of my hand and use my number 70 brush to blend that out. 
and we're not doing any lashes with this look so if you don't know how to do your lashes or don't want to, <laughs> to put lashes on on a daily basis this is definitely going to be the look for you so blending this in you know like short stints right i'm not going to be dragging this down especially since this is a light to medium coverage if you do that you might see shrieks in the application and with this type of brush being that it's a flat kabuki dense brush it's thickly packed i like to really press it in to get what will end up looking like a medium coverage if you want this to be more sheer you want to see more of your skin then certainly feel free to use a damp beauty sponge now i didn't prime my lips as you notice and i always prime my lips but for this look because the looks gonna be really natural and soft i'm using gloss so no need to dry the lips out with a primer when i apply my foundation in the middle of my face i like to start here between the eyebrows and then work my way up to the hairline again you want to avoid putting too much product in the hairline we're not trying to make this look cakey we want it to look as natural as possible so by the time you get to the hairline the amount of product on your brush shouldn't be as much same for the jawline now, because I'm explaining all these steps to you and really trying to make this video as thorough as I can, you're gonna find that it's, it's taken me a while, but honestly and truly, this is the kind of look that you should be able to do in maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, even like too much, you know? All right, for concealer, I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and my color is Truffle. Okay, this is a medium dark, 2.75. And you can go as light or as heavy as you'd like with concealer, and when I say that I'm talking about the amount of product now the tone like this actual shade is to me light and that's what I prefer but if you're trying to look as natural as possible grab a color that only gives you a minimal amount of brightening not as much as this one per se but I like for my face to be bright and then blend this out I already love how this looks I want you to comment below and let me know if you think that this look is already so far coming together okay <laughs> All right, and now to bronze the face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the color Twoffy Tees. Ow. I feel like I was rhyming. Was I or was I not rhyming? Keep it all the way a hundred. Don't try and play me. I'm going to use the Sephora Collection Pro Foundation Brush, and this is number 57. Now, when you're applying your contour, what I like to do is take my face from full resting like this to like, you see that? Like just bring the cheeks up a little. You gotta have a little bit of stank attitude. Give yourself a stank attitude just for a few seconds. So isolate the cheekbones and then imagine from the top of your ear down to where your mouth is, you want to go right underneath here, okay? And just apply your contour. <laughs> Now this already looks very lightweight to me. Like it looks already like a very light application for the face. All right, so this is the part of the show when it gets a little crazy. You gotta make your eyes like this. We don't want our concealer under our eyes. The group. So I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Translucent Setting Powder. Applying this with the number 79 brush right under the eyes. And I'm gonna apply this everywhere where I have put down the concealer. All right, and now this is the part where I actually build up on the product on my face in a light manner. You could skip this if you wanted to. This is my technique and I love it, believe me. It looks great. It just looks fantastic. I'm using the One Size Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation and my color is Dark 4G. When I first started using this product, I thought that it was not my color. I was like, absolutely not. It totally is my color. It looks so good. It brings warmth to my face and it's amazing. So let's do that. So I'm using the Sephora number 59 pro powder brush to apply this and I like to do it at an angle it's just you know I'm not gonna put on like this so at an angle always tapping off the excess and I like to start near my mouth and then build it up and of course go on top of the highlight and all of the highlighted areas 
start toward the outer part and then build it in. So you're setting everything, taking away the shine, but with this product, you're still gonna have that satin finish afterward, or if you're more oily, then of course you can prime with something more mattifying, but you're gonna still have some sort of shine and that is quite all right. Taking this in the product, tapping off the excess. I like to apply it first where the line of demarcation is between the contour and the highlight. And then I stick to where the highlight is because I'm actually gonna put bronzer on and it's gonna go on top of the contour. I know, if that's confusing, I'm sorry, but that's the way that I do it and it just looks so good. You could leave it with just the contour, but I like to add bronzer because it adds warmth to the face. But honestly, this really could do, like you could just do this. And if you wanted to do this and not add a bronzer, then I would make sure to set the contour. You could set that with the translucent powder or I guess with this too, like with the face powder, you could set your contour contour, but I'm not necessarily doing that because the bronzer will actually end up doing that for me. And notice how I'm patting and not wiping. We're not wiping anything off of our face. That like, that move was kind of funny, huh? We're not wiping anything off the face. We're actually trying to apply it. And I like to apply by patting it onto the face. So yeah, what do you think so far of this look? Comment and let me know. This is looking real soft. It's looking real soft for the kid, but it, it's doing something for me. It really is. All right, and now we're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury O Faithful Airbrush Bronzer, and this is is the color four deep love this one and honestly what i'm gonna do is use the same brush just to keep things easy okay taking it at an angle always tapping off the excess and then focusing this where i already had the contour now this is going to go into the hairline a little bit because my contour did go into the hairline if you did it correctly your contour did go into the hairline okay come on we gotta make that blend we ain't trying to have any lines of what is it? Demarcation. Come on, say it with me. Come on, class is in session. Pay attention. There's gonna be a quiz at the end. <laughs> ah, I crack myself up. Okay. Like no lies. If I have brows. <laughs> You know, if I have full brows, like you might have, I would stop right here, you know? Like I would stop right here and put on my gloss and go sit down, like not even kidding. You know what? Okay, so I am gonna do a luminizer. I am going to luminize the face, you get it? Like I am going to illuminate, highlight the face because I love a highlighter, but I kid you not, if you have full brows and you are in a rush or you just feel great already like this, you really could just stop. Especially liquid. Liquid highlight looks so good. Let me show you. So I'm highlighting with my old faithful, and she's my favorite. Rare Beauty. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer. It's the color Flaunt. If you've seen any of my videos, either here or on IGTV, your girl has been using Flaunt for a long time. Uh, do you get the emphasis? It's actually intense. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Love that for me. Love that. Look at how that looks. Just so amazing. So as far as blush is concerned, I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Colorful Shimmer Color, and this is Hot Flush. And I'm gonna use the number 96 brush. Tapping some of the product. Definitely want to tap off the excess. And I was focusing that right in the front part of the cheeks. You could skip this if you wanted. Honestly, the bronzer did warm up the cheeks enough. But you know what? I'm gonna just take the brush with leftover product on it, not adding any more, and just going to do this to make it a seamless transition. Love that. Doesn't it look so natural? What do you think? You gotta let me know. You gotta let me know, girl. When your girl, listen, when your girl looks good, you gotta tell her. You gotta tell her. Let her know. Amazing. Now, while we're at it, let me just do my lip because the lip is just lipping. Because again, if you already have full brows, you could stop right here. We're not doing mascara, nor are we doing lashes. So let me just do lip in case you want to just finish the video right here. <laughs> I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss in the colors Cookie Jar and Honey Waffles. So Cookie jars first. I love to ombre. If you know me, you know that.
Oh my gosh, look at that lip, oh. amazing. So now I'm gonna do my brows and then the look is gonna be done. The look is gonna be done, girl. It's gonna be done and done. Here we go. All right, so brows are done and I cleaned them up with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Amand. And now I'm going to do what I love to do, which is an easy step for the eyes. You can leave it, but to me it's missing something, okay? And I'm gonna tie the look together with, again, the one size Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation in the color Dark. 4G and I'm going to use the Sephora collection number 57 brush take some of the product always tap off the excess and I'm applying this on my eyelid as an eyeshadow basically when I get to the line of demarcation I'm just pressing so that I don't wipe anything off I love to see it. I really do. Honestly and truly, the look is done. This is what I would call an everyday soft get up and go versatile, really and truly. Because if you wanted to, you can come home, put some lashes on it, some eyeliner. But really, just with this, I feel like I could like go somewhere. Be it work, online meetings, you name it. So I want you to let me know if you love this look and if you would wear it. Okay, and to set everything down to the down, 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 we're gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I'm going to use the Ultra Matte one, although I do have the original, but remember, we didn't use a primer, so this is gonna help me out a little bit, okay? Give her a good shake, 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 okay? And then make sure you've given it a little spritz beforehand, hold it away. Now, I definitely did more than the recommended number of spritzes because I'm just that kind of chick. <laughs> I'm just that chick, you know? Definitely took a bath in that. Love it. Awesome. Okay, so I want you to comment below and let me know if you would rock this look, where would you rock it to? Do you like a look that doesn't include lashes? Does it make it easier for you to be able to do this on a daily basis? Again, thank you to Sephora for partnering with me on this video. Links to all these products and the brushes that I used are down below. So you can shop all these items at Sephora or Sephora.com. Make sure you're subscribed here and on IG. And as always, I'm always glad when you watch my videos. I tell you this all the time and I appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.